The funniest signs of the writer's strike. It's been two weeks since the Writers Guild of America went on strike against AMPTP, and other than saying a writer deserves a living wage, honestly, all I want to talk about is the funny signs. Here, based on the engagements around specific tweets, are the most popular. ChatGPT doesn't have childhood trauma is the most popular strike sign so far. Clearly, there's a gig writing a Batman movie or Disney cartoon in that writer's future. The next most popular sign was spotted by the creator of the Animaniacs. It reads, Pay us or I will climb the WB Tower and release the Animaniacs, I swear to God. And now you know the plot. The third most popular sign came from writer comic Jenny Yang, who reasoned, Give up just one yacht. Which is funny, but not a joke. Business Insider reports that David Geffen, who founded DreamWorks, paid $590 million for a yacht while the Writers Guild is looking for pay increases that would amount to about $429 million a year. In the fourth most popular funny sign tweet, Mandy Patikin rewrote his famous Princess Pride line, You killed my father, prepare to die. As a bonus, Bob Odenkirk is also in the picture in a matchup prophesized by my daughter. The fifth most popular funny sign tweet was a twofer by the star and creator of Hulu's upcoming Washington Black series reading, I'm an actor, I literally don't know what to say, and Netflix, we got beat. Here are the next most popular funny sign tweets. None of the funny sign posts were among the top five best performing tweets about the writer's strike. For example, the top performing strike related tweet was by Quinta Brunson, earnestly demanding fair compensation for writers. However, if a non-famous writer wants to successfully raise awareness around the strike, a funny sign is the most succinct way to do it.